I'm Deacon Danny with Christ the King School and Church. Peace be with you. In the first book of Kings, we're told about a non-Jewish army commander named Naaman who had leprosy. He had a slave girl who he had kidnapped in a battle against the Jewish people. As Naaman had no hope for a cure outside of a miracle, she told him of the prophet Elisha. Naaman traveled to Israel in search of the great prophet. The prophet told him to simply wash in the Jordan River seven times. Naaman was taken aback, expecting a great sign from the prophet or the prophet to demand a great work for the cure, not to simply wash seven times in an unimpressive river. He nearly missed his miracle due to his expectations. We too can sometimes expect or even demand that God do our will, or we strive to take extreme measures to prove our holiness or earn God's love. Often what's most needed and therefore most required is faithfulness to who and what is right in front of us. Offering patience when we're already worn out. Offering a listening ear or a word of encouragement. Caring for a newborn emptying the dishwasher, mowing the yard, working to communicate with your spouse, though you've miscommunicated yet again, taking time to be with your children. These simple actions cultivate virtue, which leads to holiness. That is the miracle Jesus desires to give us that cures us from the leprosy of sin. Take some time today and visit with Jesus about how your Lent is going. Are you growing closer to him? Are you growing closer to the people in your life? Let's pray for one another. God bless.